Python is one of the most popular programming languages in the world. It's known for automation, machine learning, data science, and, let's be honest, some pretty trashy computer graphics. If you've ever tried drawing with Python's Turtle module or played around with basic GUIs, you probably know what I mean. Python is easy to learn, incredibly versatile, and perfect for beginners. But here's something that might surprise you. What if I told you that you can create realistic, high-quality 3D graphics with Python? Yes, you heard that right. Not only can you do it, but it's also a lot simpler than you might expect, and you don't have to write thousands of lines of complicated code to get started. Today, I'm going to show you how you can build realistic 3D graphics with Python step-by-step breaking the process into easy, manageable parts. By the end, you'll understand how to go from a blank screen to a beautiful, professional-looking 3D scene. Let's dive right in. First, let's understand the big picture. We can split this task into two major parts. One, rendering a basic 3D scene in Python. Two, making that scene actually look realistic. Breaking down your challenges into smaller pieces like this is an important problem-solving technique, not just in coding, but in anything you do. Part 1. Rendering a basic 3D scene Now let's tackle the first part, how to render a 3D scene at all. You might immediately think of OpenGL, a graphics standard that's been around for decades. And yes, there's a Python wrapper for OpenGL you can use. But here's the problem. Using OpenGL directly in Python is like building a house with nothing but a hammer and a pile of wood. It's complicated, tedious, and honestly, it's not beginner-friendly. Instead, we're going to use a much smarter tool, a framework called Panda 3D. Panda 3D was originally developed by Disney and Carnegie Mellon University. It's a powerful, open-source 3D engine that's easy to work with, well-documented, and capable of producing professional results. To get started, you need to install Panda 3D. Using your Python package manager, you can do this quickly with a simple installation command. Once Panda 3D is installed, you can create a new Python file and write a few basic lines to set up your first window. Using this code, you import the necessary modules from Panda 3D, define a class that inherits from the engine's base class, and initialize your application window. If you run the script at this point, you'll see something amazing. A window opens. Now, yes, it's just a blank gray screen, but this is a major first step. It means Panda 3D is installed correctly and your environment is ready. Next, we want to load an actual 3D model into our scene. Using this code, you can instruct Panda 3D to load a model, for example, a simple Panda model provided with the engine, and attach it to the scene graph, which is Panda 3D's way of organizing everything you see. Run this script and you will see your 3D model sitting in your window. Congratulations! You've just set up the foundation of a 3D application in Python. But wait, look at it. It's gray, flat, and honestly, kind of ugly. That brings us to part two. Part two, making the scene realistic. Loading a model is one thing. Making it look real is a whole different story. Right now, your model has no lighting, no shading, no reflections, no shadows. It looks fake, plasticky, and uninteresting. It's exactly what most people think of when they hear about graphics made with Python. Cheap and unimpressive. But Panda 3D has a powerful trick up its sleeve. Shaders. Shaders are small programs that run directly on your computer's graphics card. They can simulate lighting, shadows, reflections, refractions, pretty much everything that makes computer graphics look convincing and beautiful. You could write your own shaders from scratch, and if you dive deep into Panda 3D, you'll find tons of resources teaching you how to do exactly that. But for now, writing shaders manually is overkill. Instead, we're going to use a pre-built solution called Render Pipeline. Render Pipeline is an advanced graphics framework built on top of Panda 3D. It comes with a full set of professional shaders, including physically-based rendering, real-time shadows, ambient occlusion, reflections, and more. Basically, Render Pipeline gives you realistic graphics with minimal setup. Here's how you can use it. First, you'll need to download the Render Pipeline project from GitHub. Follow the setup instructions carefully. Usually, it's just a matter of running a setup script and making sure you have the right dependencies installed. Once Render Pipeline is ready, move your Python script into the Render Pipeline project folder. Then, using this code, you import the Render Pipeline module, 
create a new pipeline object and connect it to your Panda 3D application. When you run the script now, prepare to be amazed. Suddenly, your scene looks completely different. You'll see realistic shading, smooth shadows, crisp reflections, the kind of quality you'd expect from a high-end game engine, but built entirely with Python. Even better, performance remains fast and smooth because all the heavy lifting is handled efficiently by your GPU. In just a few simple steps, you went from a blank gray window to a fully realistic 3D scene.